Hello, I'm Jacqueline Mangold and this is Rachel Peckham. Hi. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about acupuncture and the treatment of substance misuse today. So the Core Trust um, is a, uh, a community-based project that works with people that have problems with substance misuse, and which is where Jacqueline and I worked. Um, it was founded over 20 years ago by a couple of ex-users, um, um, they were actually a couple, um, who were addicted to heroin and they used a combination of acupuncture and counselling and healing and, and then set up the programme. I mean, it was a very basic programme initially and it, it grew very organically from the late 70s, early 80s. Um, and it's located in Marlebone in London. And it's a structured day program, um, Monday to Friday. Some of the time that I was working there in the late 90s, it used to be open at the weekends as well, just for Saturday and Sunday morning. Um, it's a community based program and um, it predominantly runs with, with groups. So there'll be generally a counselling based group relapse prevention in the morning followed by the sorry after the ear acupuncture group which we're going to talk about in more detail um, and each client has one-to-one um, -one therapies one of them being body acupuncture um, the other therapies being other usually other complementary therapies um, and counseling uh, currently they the core trust are working with fat, with families of the clients um, and they have a service for children of the clients, so service users, um, which is core kids. That's um, kids this yeah. started after I, I left actually. Um, but that's a, a, a really valuable, valuable service and not something that a lot of, of other organizations offer. Um, service users, clients are referred um, from other London substance misuse teams, um, obviously where the client is based or lives needs to be reasonably close, but it doesn't just have to be within Westminster, which is where the Poor Trust is. Um, referrals also come from probation services, from social services, from GPs, and um, a, a lot of clients self-refer as well. Um, it generally tends to attract a fairly motivated client group, i.e. Um, a client, the service user that, that wants to stop using, um, they reach that point where, you know, they're realising that drugs, alcohol are having a major impact on their life and their health. The average length of the programme currently is 12 to 24 weeks. And when I was working there, it tended to be a bit longer than that. Uh, clients were then funded for up to a year. Um, and the statistics have always been quite high in terms of service users completing the program and then being in being drug free uh, for six months after and, and being in some form of education or or uh, employment. And their statistics, their recent statistics show that their clients have a 95% completion rate, which is extremely high. Um, the Core Trust is quite a small project, um, but in terms of the National Treatment Agency statistics, which are under 10% completion rate, that is incredibly high. Um, they offer an aftercare program, which is really, again, really important. Once the uh, individual has gone through the, the program and stopped using, um, it's important that they can still access some treatments and some kind of follow-up of, after the programme, which is, a, a, again, what a lot of substance misuse programmes don't offer, um, the Core Trust does. And we see uh, quite a high percent of women accessing the Core Trust as well, which, again, is quite unusual in general drug and alcohol treatment. Um, as Jacqueline was saying earlier, um, a lot of statistics show that it's a much higher percentage of men in treatment for drug and alcohol misuse. 
Um, so we've got 53% of women and 47% of men currently treated in the last couple of years. Um, and the main substances that people present with are, uh, as we see, the highest is alcohol, 47%, um, 17% heroin, 15% crack and cocaine, 5% cannabis, 3% amphetamines and 3% methadone, which I don't think has varied much over the last, well, certainly since I was working there, that mm. seems to be a very similar picture. Um, well, maybe the, the amount of cannabis users wanting to stop is a bit higher, a bit than, higher. than the average, but yes. everything else is very much in the national average, is it? It's very much yeah. also what, what's happening out there yeah. in other treatment agencies. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this free webinar. Please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please share on social media. The world will be a better place when more people know about the benefits of acupuncture.